Noodles. You know, I'm back to answer some more goddamn questions. Back out some goddamn oldies here. These are all older questions. I did get one paid ski today, but should go over quick. And even if I don't get to it today, that's fine because uh, I've been ahead, goddamn it. And uh, like I want to get these old goddamn pages out of here. Get them goddamn paid skis in. Only got one today. So that's fucking doesn't meet the goddamn quota. I got zero yesterday. So I'm behind as fuck as far as I'm concerned. From uh, order question from Marcus Jeffers. Yo, J Dog. Bodybuilding only questions. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Might want to fast forward a bit, bitch boys. Then he didn't even get preferences. So fat, fat devil suck a fucking dick. Agreed. Uh, what's your thoughts on the Trend Twins YouTube channel? Never watched them. If you heard of them, of course. I have heard of them. I mean, I guess I'll get to what I think about them in a second. Second, I know you're on gear. <laughs> Why do you know that, man? But it's cool. I ain't no little girl about it. But what's it like being 10% or less body fat year round? I don't know if I'm 10% less year. I think I'm probably between a lot of times of the year about 10 to 12%. That's where I feel really good. Uh, but dieting, yeah, I'll go down as low as like 7% and shit. But yeah, I'm not staying that year. I fucking feel, feel like shit. <laughs> I mean, it's you're just, you're extremely lethargic. Let's just say that. Um, does your test drop significantly? You're uh, asking me, you clearly don't know how this shit works, man. I mean, uh, <laughs> you're at, you just said, I know you're on gear. And does your test drop significantly? Well, if you're on gear, dude, your, your tests don't drop. <laughs> That's the uh, actually the advantage. For example, guys, if you're going to do all natural bodybuilding shows, like you're going to compete naturally, it is healthier to take a replacement dose of testosterone than to do it completely natural because your test drop test levels will drop naturally. Getting into single digit body fat, you can put, just so you know, if going under 10% body fat, and you're all natural. You're not you're not supplementing your hormones. That's extremely unhealthy. Just so you know. Totally unhealthy. Not, that's under 10. Even 9% is not healthy. You will have much lower testosterone levels than just the average guy who's 25 years old sitting on his goddamn couch eating Doritos and playing PlayStation. That is a fucking fact. So, yeah, I'm all natural and I'm doing this show natural. So, you're right, dummy. You should be taking at least 200 milligrams of test. Otherwise, you're a fucking retard. You're destroying your goddamn body. You won't get your test levels checked the week of the show. I guarantee you they're, they're at 100 or less. Garen fucking T. So... Bragging about being a fucking moron. So you're getting significantly less results. You're more unhealthy. <laughs> fucking dummies. Finally, I'm 5'9", 163 lean with abs, training five days a week. Wow, sure I am proud of you, homeboy. Um, as far as the Trent Twins, it's a YouTube channel that to me is just useless. I've never watched them. Maybe they're nice kids. I mean, just the fact that it's kids talking about trend automatically, they need to be goddamn bitch slapped. That is a compound that you use if you are serious goddamn bop bop body. That's about it. So why, why use the most harsh fucking compound? Like, none of these idiots talk about why not test an equipoise or test an deca, like more safer shit. It's not going to fuck you up. Um, and they're just using the strongest thing because their the training sucks, their nutrition sucks, their work ethic fucking sucks. They're not giving this the goddamn long haul. I mean, uh, you hear the goddamn scuttlebutt. The one kid went to the hospital because he took massive amounts of pre-workout. This is an idiot. Um, and why would I listen to It's just like, for example, like if I was 16 years old today, I am not listening to talk about metal. I am not taking another 16-year-old's opinion on the metal genre. I'm not. I'm looking at to people, uh, the old saying, sitting on the shoulders of giants. I don't care with somebody who's new to the game. These trend twins are like probably what, 22, 23 years old? I don't care what a 23 year old has to say about training or especially drugs or, or, or working out. You, you're new. You don't fucking know shit, man. I don't care what you have to say. I, I literally, I don't care. So why would I follow them? I, you follow the guys that have done it. Follow Jay Cutler. Follow when John Meadows was alive. Follow the guys. They should be have 20 years or more on their goddamn belt. That's who you follow, man. That's who you follow. You don't follow these. these Social media fucking influence douchebag fucking kids. You just don't. Just delete them. I don't follow any of them. If they're under the age of 30, I don't follow them. I have no interest, no care, don't give a shit. Flat out don't. So, yeah, I don't know much about them. Never watched them. Could care less. They could die tomorrow. And to be honest, I'd probably prefer it because it's just more people junking up the goddamn fucking tube. Michael Prince, I just seen today's video. I understand you were walking, you were walking and bumped into your future wife. 
Bills. You can know that. I guess you live by my future wife. Oh, but in the past, but yeah, my current wife, yeah. My question is, what even broke the ice? Did she have on a DSI shirt or something, and you commented on it? Did she approach you? I mean, again, we're going back, going on 12 years ago now. So, I mean, it's, memory's a little hazy. And keep in mind, I was literally just off anesthesia. Is uh, an hernia surgery that day. So, I can't say my memory's going to be 100% spot on. It's funny because... I'm glad you asked that question. I think I told you that email. I was like, it's perfect because somebody said the comments when I talked about it. This wasn't a chick from like Australia that asked the question, said the goddamn page, can you ask it? And some dumb dumb in the comments said, well, he, they addressed this both on camera when they were uh, did a video together. And like the story's drastically different. Timestamp me that thing. What do you mean drastic? Because it's funny because somebody said it to Lindsay as well. She's like, oh, that's pretty much how it went down. Um, like, I don't remember what we said on camera. I was like, I don't either. But I was like, there's no way it was drastically different. Maybe I gave when we went into more details, like we said this or that. It's like one of us remembered more or not. But I was like, drastically different. No, I was had surgery that goddamn day. It was around 12 o'clock, 1 p.m. By the time I walk, woke up, walked down the street, and I bumped into her. Now, how did I, I don't know, I just saw a chick that I was attracted to. <laughs> Outside, hey, may as well say hi, right? Uh, or maybe get in the mail or sit in the street. Um. I know she was outside with her kid, which is my stepson now. He was like three years old at the time. He was three or he just had his fourth birthday. Yeah, something like the young. So they were out, but I mean, I don't remember who said what first, but it was probably just walking around and well, it was walking around and how he initiated. I don't know. Just said hi and how you doing? Uh, that type of shit. And just start talking. So, um, but yeah, exactly. Who said what? And, I, and from there, like I said, I think she invited me over for dinner. I think that's how it went down. Uh, like the second time we saw each other then. Because I think it was like the following week then. I sent something up. And then not far from that, we went to a market together. Because it all went really fast. Um, yeah. So, but yeah, the exact nitty gritties. Remember, maybe she remembers a little bit more detail. I probably remember a couple of details she don't and vice versa. So. Andreas Wade, order order question. What's more annoying, internet laced teenage know it all know it alls barking metal facts at you, or the absolutely absolute inflated bubble of hyper hyper expensive record collecting? Um, like like what? Also, tell these these Vegas nerds to eat my shit again. Shout out, brother flip flop. Not sure what you're talking about the Vegas guys and all that, but whatever. Um. Expensive records, the only thing I think seen as expensive is uh eBay discogs, and that's just the name of the game. I, I don't I don't blame people for that. It's you had a record, you held on to it for collectability or bought a dub and you sold on eBay years later. I mean, I can not gonna lie, I've done that myself. And uh but I you know, I paid for them as well. Shit, I just bought a goddamn not just two months ago, still waiting on it. Attic demo LP, bought it on discogs for a hundred bucks, mind you, still don't got it. It's been well over two months. It's on a shipping container. It, it, I already know I, the dog's fucked. I didn't get it, so I'm gonna have to rebuy it again. And it's I think I bought the cheapest one, the mint condition. So I guess I'm buying it again for 120, 130 bucks. It's, it's, am I bitching and crying? I mean, I, honestly, it's, it's I, I have bigger problems going on in my life, goddamn for sure, than, than 120 bucks. So that's it doesn't, it doesn't keep me up at night. I know some of you guys that put you in the fucking poorhouse, but I don't look forward to it either. But um, so that shit is as far as. The internet lays teenage barking metal facts. Again, I, I don't watch other metal channels pretty much whatsoever. Every now and once again, I'll peek in, and it's only with the, pretty much only the channels I've collabed with. Um, because I don't really care what anybody's opinion on music is. I, I have my own opinion, and that's all that matters to me. Um, and then, it, honestly, if I want to pick anybody's brain, I'm going to pick friends' brains that are inside the scene that I'll have that I respect their opinion. Maybe an Athna or something. Granted, but even him. I'm only going to ask him about stuff from like the 80s or so because 90s up, I to, to him and to me, his opinion's a little irrelevant because he doesn't like majority of it. So I'm only going to ask him something from the time frame that I respect his opinion on if I even got to ask. As far as the bark in the comments, to me, if you're talking about mine, looking over it, I, I mean, I'm just, dude, I can tell, not on everything, but a lot of comments, I can tell who's 18 years old and younger just by the, by the, by, by, by what they're saying. When I see Squidward Benton or Sponge Dog or, uh, well, why are you hating on two other stab? Well, stupid shit like that. I already know. 18-year-old virgin living in mama's basement, probably unemployed. I, I already know that. So I, a lot of it I can weed out. So I, I know their opinions are relevant to me. And I can give two fucking shits less. 
But hey, it helps the algorithms so comment along. I'm just like, you're helping me out, so I don't really give a shit. And if you're watching, you're entertained, cool. But would I take their opinion on anything? Fuck no. Uh, Steven Rodriguez, yo dog. Can't recall if you've answered this, but what would what would be your ultimate workout playlist? Uh, I just answered that kind of the other day. Uh, I, I don't have an ultimate one. Particularly on days where you need motivation to get through your sets. Ten songs. Any genres? Thanks. I mean, yeah, I don't have an ultimate playlist, but I could tell you as far as stuff that you guys would recognize that I, that I do listen to the gym fairly often. It would be um, Misfits, Cannibal, DSI, uh, Attic, some Merciful Fate, some King Diamond, uh, some of the Nun. You know, like early Nun Slaughter, like well, like late '90s, early 2000s, Hell's on Holy Fire, Cerebus Seven Inch, Burn the Cross. You know, classics. Um, I don't listen to like demos and shit. I don't listen to gym. Like I, I don't think I've ever listened to Necrovore, for example, at the gym. I don't think I've ever listened to Gorophobia at the gym. I don't know if I should say never. Maybe I could or something. Or some cardio. But generally speaking, I don't listen to like you know raw recordings. I very rarely have put on the tish at the gym. Um, there's certain there's certain moods for certain things. That's for, that's for, for damn sure. But I don't have a select. This is my go-to playlist. But those for sure, I can tell you, I've 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 listened to more than. 10 times in the gym, let's just say that. And Morgan Hicks, this is the goddamn page question that came in today. Yo, I dog, what do you think if you can't discog slash eBay a great obscure demo slash album? Do you download it or just stream it every once in a while on YouTube? So the, the thing is, again, not that be that sound like that guy. I haven't all heard it all. I'm not saying that, but realistically, if it's something you cannot buy, and it's not on Discogs or eBay, at least in some time frame. And realistically, the only thing I'm going to eBay or Discogs these days is shit that I'm a super fan. So realistically, it's a recording that I probably already have. Like, what is the last thing I bought on Discogs? Well, Attic, the demo. Um, so I guess I don't have the recording, but I have most of the songs. There's only two, I think there's two unreleased songs on there that didn't make any of the albums. Um, so I guess by default, I don't have those songs, right? Because I don't have the CD version either, which I'm fine on getting. If anybody wants to give Jada a goddamn Christmas gift, there you go. Attic demo on CD, attic vinyl on LP, because chances are I'm getting fucked on the vinyl. There's a goddamn Jada Christmas gift <laughs> if you want to send one. Um, but it's like, like for example, something I would buy, it's pissing goddamn Cobalt Black Mo guys off. Is any of the, any of the uh, Cradle of Filth picture discs I'm missing? Like, I don't think I have Cruelty of the Beast on picture disc. I would like to own it because I, I own the LP. I own a. I own the Repress LP, and I own the uh, Coffin CD, and I own the Double Disc CD, but I never bought a picture disc of it. I can't remember if I have Dusk or not. But nonetheless, shit like that. That is something I will eventually eBay or Discogs. If I listen to it, fuck out. No. Just go in the collection. It's, 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 I, I love the album, and it's stuff like that. So it, it's, it's not like there's this death metal band that came out in 2016, and it's out of print. You can't get it at Hell's. Oh, fuck, can't find a Discogs or eBay, and I'm just so bummed I want to hear it. To be honest, I don't think there would be anything in that category I would care that much about. I was like, all right, um, comes out, it comes out. If it don't, don't. I mean, you know, in 2016, I was 31 years old. I lived 30, I lived 31 years without it. Fucking, I can go another 31 without it. That's, that's the way I see it. So um, there's really nothing in that goddamn category. I've heard stuff that I thought was cool. I mentioned that one band, I can't remember the goddamn name. It was like Infernal something or whatever. They had several albums I found on YouTube. It was kind of like, I don't want to call it deicide worship, but you can hear the deicide influence in there from the 90s. And I couldn't find anything for sale, even on Bandcamp. You could find digital and shit on Bandcamp. Uh, they had a few demos and like three albums. Like, never heard of this band. Pretty sure it was from the States. Um, I was like, this is a band personally. I'd be interested in Hell's putting out their stuff because it seems like it's never been out. Or it's, it, it, if, it's, if it's been out, it's completely unavailable. Like, literally, not on Discogs, not on eBay, cannot find it anywhere. The stuff I was like, this shit's fucking great. But again, it was, it's a band I heard now later. It's like, it was just this year I heard it. Um, I mean, I'm not going to, like, if I go to my grave and never hear it again, I mean, I, I've got a lot of music to listen to, so I'm not that concerned. But it was killer shit that I wouldn't mind getting. Uh, Andreas Villada, older question for J-Dog. What do you think happens when we die? Fade to black? Wake up from the stimulates, the simulation? 
Also, can you shout out my cat Os Osiris? Osiris knew this. Fucking goddamn merciful fate, right? He just crossed the 20 pound threshold and is pissed about his new diet. <laughs> P.S. We love like dead by dog fly if possible. Yeah, we kind of don't officially have Charlie on a diet, but we don't give him as much wet food. Uh, we give him treats. Uh, his sister Evie, she, God damn, she's annoying as fuck about you, man. She just fucking cries and cries and talks. Most chatty fucking kitty you'll ever goddamn see in your life, especially with food. Like she, she, she don't leave until it's gone. It's funny because she's not fat at all, um, but her brother, because they're biological fucking, like it's not like we call brother and sister because they live together because we have five cats, but they're actually came from the same litter. Um, she's not fat and not picky at all, always eating. Charlie's a little more picky with the um, wet food. He only he likes the Sheba and the um, Sheba brand and the um, and the uh, Meow mix, but it's got to be uh, some type of fish. It's got to be either tuna or um, uh, lobster, uh, uh, salmon, uh, or shrimp. Those he'll eat, but if it's chicken or beef, he won't eat it, which is kind of fucking weird. Like, Evie, she'll just eat any of them. Snake, he'll eat any of them. He'll just wolf that shit down. Um, but Charlie, we, we and don't do it in front of him so he doesn't feel left out. Uh, we give him less because he is... <laughs> Kind of fucking fat. I got a lot. And uh, Snake, he's at the 20 pound mark. I think he is 20 pounds. Dude, he's just jacked and stacked. The kitty behind got that one eye kitty. Snake, goddamn Plitzkin. Just all, just all muscle. And then uh, Trey, we were actually trying to push his weight up. And Shit, and Snake still don't get along. Don't even get me started on that. Uh, got to keep him separated at all times. Uh, otherwise, Snake is him an ass whooping of a, of a lifetime, and it's completely unfair. He's literally he's literally double his body. Actually, I think he's a little bit more than double. Well, they might be double now, because I think Trey just hit the 10 pound mark. Uh, he was like seven when we got him, so just complete skin and bones. Um, but uh, Snake, so he's 20. He's double his body weight, and he has all his claws. Trey has none of his claws, but, and because it's a fucking uh, piece of shit fucking people we got him from. So all, all his claws, all front and back. So, that, that, I mean, that's just that's a curb stopping right there. Um, so he's, he has no claws and he's half his body weight. He's it's like, snake's just a goddamn jerk. It's a complete fucking, complete fucking unfair fight. It's like going in a goddamn gunfight with a fucking pocket knife. Jeez, I wonder who's going to win this. And then, uh, Lizzie, she's our diabetic one. She's on a special diet too. She's on diabetic food, which is easy because she just stays in the basement anyway. She's old and hates life. Um, I have to give her shots of insulin twice a day. I give her first thing in the morning. And then in the evening, after I get home from the gym, I give her a second shot of insulin. Other than that, she's been doing really, really good. All her health markers are perfect. Other than that, she's just diabetic. Um, and then who did I leave with? So she gets a uh, she gets wet food every day, but it's a diabetic wet food. And then she has diabetic uh, dry food. So I hear you on that, goddamn it. As far as uh, what's your goddamn question? <laughs> oh, when we die, I think fade to black, man. I don't believe in all this fucking Indian reincarnation bullshit. I don't believe in this Christian ass. We go on a cloud. You're going to see grandma. I mean, just think about it too, dude. All the people that died and everything like that and lived. So you're telling me, you're telling me if you believe in whichever, some type of thing, you're basically saying, because we talked about serial killers and shit on this, and I'm so fascinated by it. Well, the old classics. I don't hear give a shit about some 21-year-old depressed OG of today, 2024 serial killers. I think I'm talking about the real ones. <laughs> it was once, right? But the ones that are interesting, goddammit. it. But you telling me Albert Fish is technically still alive? It, by your definition, you are. That means you, if you think he's in heaven or hell, whichever the case is. But meanwhile, the guy was Catholic, by the way. So was, was his sins all forgiven? Another reason why. Who the fuck follows that phony baloney nonsense? So honestly, dude, if that POS is in heaven, just turn me the, and, I, and the dogs getting in. Turn me the fuck around. I don't support no guy that's letting that guy get off the hook. That guy should be hanging by his nutsack, fucking burning for eternity. So, but he, 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 he repented, he repented to Christ, so he's all forgiven. See, I want nothing to do with some sadistic, weak-minded ass fucks like that. So, but either way, heaven or hell, he's there. You're, you're, you're insinuating when you die, you can technically see the guy. He still exists. And, and by the way, is he, is he, is he in his old, old man format or is he in his young man format? When grandma died, grandma died at 85 years old. Is she all decrepit and all? Oh shit, my fucking back hurts. God damn, this bad hip on a cloud. Well, if that's the case, dude, and if you're going to live for all eternity, slow it all the goddamn place. If that's the case, hell, I want to be the guy that dies in a car wreck at 21. I'm my 21 year old format. Again, they never address this shit. And now, if you ask any of these goddamn the, the Pope or any of these dumbass religious fucks, they make this crap as they go along. 
oh, it's this, this, and that. How do you know that, man? You've never been there, and you have this one book that everybody else has. It It just says it nowhere in there. How do you know it don't say it in there, dogs? The dogs re, re, uh, has read it from top to bottom. You haven't read the Bible from top to bottom? Yes, I have, motherfucker. You've been about 12 to 13 years old. I've read that from top to bottom. And at 19 years old, I've read the, the Satanic Bible from top to bottom. So I know them fucking in the ground. Memory's a little fucking hazy, but I know the gist of both of them, and I'm telling you right now, none of that bullshit was in there. And another thing, there was nothing about abortion in there, too. So what's this, all against it or for it or whatever? How do you know if he was against it or for it? It says nothing about in there, motherfucker. You're making these goddamn rules as you go along. So I think fade to black, for sure. Matter of fact, I wouldn't even say I think, I know. It was just called like it is. Dude, you're not going to some fairy tale land. How could you possibly believe that? That is as dumb as anyone that says that. I've said it before, dude. You may as well. I am looking at you exactly the same. Doesn't mean I dislike you or hate you, but I'm looking at you as you're as, as Looney Tunes as believing in. You're literally 40 years old and be like, I'm writing Santa Claus this year. After that, man, I really hope that the Easter Bunny brings me some goddamn, uh, some Jolly Ranchers, some Starbursts. I'm really hoping so. I'm hoping he hops his way and puts under my uh, Easter basket, hides those eggs for me too. I really enjoyed that as a kid. And you're dead fucking serious when you believe that. That is the exact same. As you believe when you die, you're going to some fairy tale fucking a afterlife. Or you're reinc reincarnated to some other being. So, okay, Albert Fish is back as a bird or another human being. Come on, dude. I mean, come the fuck on. Just uh, just understand in your life will be so much easier and you can enjoy it and get all that stress off your fucking back. If you just fucking uh, accept the fact none of us are special, none of us are snowflakes, enjoy your life as much as you can. Doing whatever the hell it is that you enjoy doing. If that's watching your stupid ass fat ball game that really makes you happy, I recommend you do that. Do it as much as you can without being completely self destructive. And just when you die, you die. There'll be new players that take on after you. That's just the way it is. And once you accept that, you don't have to go to you don't have to go to this Sunday mass nonsense. You don't have to partake in any of this bullshit. You don't gotta stress about it. Well, what would what would Jesus do? I mean, there's other nonsense. You don't have to worry about it. It's all off your fucking back. Family problems and shit. Families get divided because of religion and shit like that. Because of religious differences. It's the two things you don't talk about. Politics and religion, right? Because they're both for fucking assholes. Only assholes follow either one of them. Did you ever notice? The people that are uh, die hard on either one of them. I guess maybe they know because you don't know the goddamn dog. If you, get, if you knew the dog and you know him very well, why well, know the dog very well? And I didn't know that about him. Then you don't know me very well, motherfucker. You thought you did. You know my first name. Anyone that's deep into politics, really about it, or deep into religion, they're nowhere near my ass. I want them nowhere near my ass. Because if they're deep in it, now I'm not saying you can't peek in there once and like, yeah, you're kind of curious. But I'm talking about the people that's all they talk about. They will, that's what they follow. They, that's their life revolves around. I don't get along with. I just don't. I want them nowhere near me. You know, just, you're, you're following just false garbage, stressful out, stressful crap, division and everything. So I want, I want you nowhere near me. So... Yeah, fade the goddamn black. So enjoy it while you fucking can, old boy. Come to the school, you don't know, get a new, get a cop box, get a spray the morning, and don't forget them fucking paint skis. Run a goddamn dry. While you're sending that goddamn paint ski, get that dead by dog fucking ticket. June 21st, 2025, Youngstown, Ohio. Goddamn, it's in the description box. Later, goddamn it.